It's Leah with Enlightened Mystic Essentials, and today we are going to look at what you need to heal, right, in the month of June. So the message that I received for uh, Leo's in the month of June, um, it, it's a few things, but they're positive, right? Because the month of June is about balancing, grounding, you know, stabilizing, and graduation. Graduation is talking about the stepping up and stepping out in this month. Leo, you are going to do just that. Um, a lot of you may find yourselves more uh, sociable, you know, more talkative. A lot of you will be getting ready, if not already, attending parties, you know, being around a group of people, right? So um, a lot of you may even be hit with... Uh, I got a party over here to attend. I got another party over here to attend. They're on the same day or they're in the same weekend as different dress attires. So a lot of you are going to learn how to adjust to that, right? It's a lot of uh, opportunities going on for you, right? So um, just remember to remain balanced, literally grounded in your mental because it's going to be a lot of um, doors opening and a lot of opportunities coming for the Leos that are vibing high, right? So we're going to see what you need to heal, right? So before we get to um, what you need to heal, when I say it's a lot of messages coming in today for you, you mm -hmm, have a message here. And you have the eight of staff, right? So the eight of staff talks about movement, mm -hmm. something coming through the air, right? It could be a package. It could be someone flying in, but it's talking about communication or someone is getting ready to take action to communicate or send off uh, or take action through the air, something pertaining to the air. And it's coming in because this person, this masculine energy, right, wears white and orange. White represents the purity and the clarity of the thought of mind, right? And the way being clear or the way being open to send forward messages, packages, people, movement as they journey a purified journey where the obstacles have been removed. That is the bottom, right? So it's something coming in. It's incoming. Someone is sending it out towards Leo. And let's just pray it's nothing negative because this car also talks about uh, people doing magic and sending things through the airways. So be careful. So let's go to our night wisdom oracle to see what is around this eight of staff. Okay. Spirit, what surrounds the eight of staff for Leo's at this time in the month of June? Right. You have two. One is face up facing you and the other one is face down, but it landed on top of the energy deck. See that? It flew out on top of the energy deck. And usually when it jumps on another deck, I take the first one out. So face up, face down. The first one that's facing you is fledgling. Fledgling is a card of one, representing one you, one thought, one journey, Leo. But it's talking about something new, right? Something in its beginning stages, right? Someone is sending communication towards you. And starting something new, the starting of a new idea, the start of a new creation, it's going to be in its beginning stages, right? These two together make the nine. What is the nine? The divine's calling for your attention to a person or a situation, right? So some of you get ready to receive communication about a new start, a new endeavor, right? A new project, right? It could also be someone wanting to work something out with you and they know they have to take small steps, right, in order to get their breakthrough. And the second card that you have, which is uh, face down so you wouldn't see it, right, it's in the unknown or it's taking place in the spiritual realm, you have personality as a two. But the thing about it is there is an orange bird orange birds right because it's orange it talks about messages coming in right obstacles being clear and this bird represents communication right and the energy card that it jumped on top of was the woman holding a coin 
So this is communication, right? From um, a feminine energy or a woman that holds value, but it is to pertain, it pertains to a balance coming in. So whether this person is a wife, a mother of your child, a bank, um, someone who has loans, right? Who can guarantee you a loan, uh, stocks, bonds, any type of mutual funds, finances. This could represent medical field, a professor, a doctor. This person can be a lot and uh, they're coming in to bring balance or settle a situation with Leos. And they have the power and the authority to do just that because the person here wears white, black, and purple. White talks about the purity or the clarity of the purple, which is power or empowerment over the black. Black talks about weakness, rigidness, sadness, depression, anything negative. This is the person who has the uh, coin or the value. And here, this cat could represent someone who has assistance. Um, a lot of times, um, this card represents the high priestess in the energy deck. And this represents the spiritual guide. So, this cat is black with purple, right? So the power of the unknown, unseen could be the spiritual realm. Someone receiving nudges, right, from the spiritual realm to say something to Leo, to uh, give a diagnosis, to certify, guarantee a loan for a mortgage or a home or a personal loan, a school loan, right? It could be um, someone in here, if you're going to school, getting it accepted, you know, uh, receiving an award, like recognition, right? So let's see what's going on with this communication or what's being sent over the airways because it could talk about communication, you know, anything sent over on um, the airways could represent communication or coordination, action, right? Spirit clarify the eight of staff for Leo's, right? Leo, you have, right? The king of swords. All right, someone has a sound, solid mental page of cups. Someone is receiving an offer, all right? Or offer is coming in. Nine of staff, wounded warrior, communication. The tower is here. Someone or something is being shook up, broke down. The knight of staff, you have a lot of staff, right? Page of coins. And the chariot talks about that movement very fast. So you got uh, indications of movement and action. So it talks about the king of swords, right? Receiving an offer, right? The king of swords is someone who has their mind made up. They have a solid mental. I know what I see. I want what I see. I know what I say. I mean what I say, right? Strong mental, right? And then... This offer that's being received, right, is going to cause any type of uh, wounding or any type of uh, communication literally to come in because the tower is coming in and shaking up whoever was wounded or whatever caused the wounding. But you see the nine of staff is a wounded warrior who has been, you know, beat down uh, physically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually, right? They've been beat down by life. Or by people within their life, right? So they're telling us a sudden change is coming. So it's going to shake all of this up, right? And see this wounded warrior is getting ready to get up and take off. Because they're on a new journey. Ace of staff upon communication. Eight of staff, right? Eight of staff. The same eight of staff here that was going out. Coming in is here, right? Someone is getting ready to take off. And then what happens after the shake up? Movement, see? Movement. Knight of Staff, right? Taking action to move forward towards, right? Receiving something solid. Page of Coins. Very, very quickly and powerful. See that? Chariot. So, movement. When I say movement is here, here's your movement. This is you getting ready or someone getting ready to take off. Get up. Take off running, right? They waiting on communication. Like if you waiting to get into accepted into a college and you get that acceptance letter, oh, I'm packing up and ready to go. See, if your family is uh wanting to fly in or come visit, so that you say, yeah, I got room, 
they on a plane, they on they on the road, they, they ready to come in. See, it's some something, someone is ready to take action to come in towards Leo, right? Here's another call to movement. See that night of staff taking action, moving forward, full speed ahead. And then at the end of it all, look, those three pyramids represent ancient wisdom, right? And then when you look at the chariot, which represents movement, chariot is going over here toward a solid offer and this action. Chariot, see that? Movement, movement upon the water, movement upon the land. Movement, right? So let's see. Let's see, right? If this is Leo coming in as the king of swords, oh, Leo, I know someone is coming. I know I'm waiting, you know, or I know a letter is coming. I know a package is coming, right? Let's see what surrounds the acceptance of this offer, right? Page of Cups, Spirit. What surrounds the Page of Cups for Leo towards this king of swords? Belonging. This could talk about a lot of things. This is a card of five. This talks about changes, right? Changes are coming in. And these changes is going to be about abundance, wealth, and be plenty. See the fish in the cup? Yeah. Acceptance, belonging. This could talk about a relationship. We belong together. This could talk about a job. We need to work together on projects and build up the company and work as one. A school you know, you're a fine student. We looked over all your grades and your GPA looks good. We would love to have you in our school. Mm. Um, working part as a team. We belong together. So get ready. It's in the beginning. So, Leo, if you haven't seen it, you will see it. It is coming. That's that's a good thing. You know, you always allow changes in. And then the thing about it is we're in June. So June is a month of balancing. But see, May was a month of change. And this was the time of the month of May when you're supposed to be doing all your work, you know, to bring forth changes into your life. And maybe you didn't see it last month. But now, starting to roll, because don't forget, they said fledgling. The fledgling means like, uh, uh, like the seed was planted. Now you have that little tiny sprout above the ground, like literally on its way to full bloom. So something is coming in for Leo that is very abundant, right? So just remember, keep your mind solid. King of Swords, you came in as King of Swords. Keep your mind solid and do not um, allow any negativity to seep in. Because see, when you come in as the King of Swords, even though you are solid and you you know you have your, king, your, you have your sword up saying, I mean what I say and I say what I mean. That sword being up can also represent a block of you receiving anything. Communication, messages, people, abundance, luck, success. So be careful, right? Be careful. Because even though it's there to, to defend you, it's also, it's also there to block you. Be careful, Leo. Spirit, what does Leo's in the month of June need to heal? Two. Two came out so fast. Letting go is here. Letting go. Letting go. Something needs to be released, Leo. And sexual arts. Six. Balance. Time to, to balance. And this sexual arts can go a whole lot of ways. But you know, uh, a spirit has me. I'm going to tell you what you need to do with this sexual art. The, uh, bubble up. Grow up. Blow up. Yeah, get your shine on. Yes. Spirit surrounding letting go for Leos. What is the energy here? Letting go. What is it that they need to see, hear, and understand? When I say you got cards wanting to come out, they go right back in the deck. Face down. Look. Face down over letting go. You have the yin, yin, and yang trying to bring forth that balance, Leo. Let's go. Balance is needed. Spirit surrounding sexual arts. I'm going to see. Ooh, you got two. Oh, nah, and they face up. Strong messages. Victory towards hostilities. Yes. Look at Leo. What y'all got going on? Y'all got somebody left and after you? You don't want to give me none. I don't want to talk to you. Anyway, let's go. So letting go forth to bring a balance. That's what you got. All right. Letting go to bring forth that balance, right? And needing that balance because coming in as a feminine energy represents wounding or energy here. 
hugging this cross, right, on the on a solid wall that is facing the same way as the yin and the yang, bringing forth that balance needed. So let's go back to our night wisdom, right? If you've been journeying with me, you know I usually use the surrender release deck. We're not using that right now in this reading because we want to get as much insight as possible, right? So night wisdom, let's go. Spirit, what surrounds letting go towards the yin and the yang for Leo? That came out so fast. High Priestess of Air, face up. High Priestess of Air talks about bringing forth a balance to your logic, to your mental. Learning how to accept and use logical and rational thoughts. Mm -hmm. If you're new to my channel, I'm Leah. I read numbers, colors, and talk spirits, right? So letting go, right? Coming in as a feminine energy, your first healing or your first breakthrough. That you need to accept, right? Letting go, coming in as a feminine energy. You've been wounded because you're holding on to something that needs to be released. Whether it is a past memory, mm -hmm, a person, right? Uh, I hear spirits say some type of item in your home, right? So what is going on? You have this feminine energy running away from the grim reaper. See there, it's two reapers in the background. Two reapers in the background. And the thing about it is, some of you know you need uh, help, right? You and you, I don't know which way to go. I don't know what to do. Mm -hmm. But see, the thing about it is, this feminine energy has an amulet in her chest, right? And this amulet is brown, so it's over the heart, right? Over your heart. So it says, when you talk about brown, brown is the in, the most injuring and damaging color out on the boards at this time, right? So brown talks about what needs to be accepted or rejected, what needs to be uh, buried, right? What needs to end, what is going in a foundation, what is going on in a situation. The brown, it either talks about accepting heart matters or rejecting heart matters. Knowing you need assistance, knowing you need help because you're running from demons of the past, right? See that? Reapers. And you need you need to go towards a balance and then letting go is a card of eight. What is the eight calling for? A spirit to a situation or a person. So whether you call spirit towards to come in and help you, hugging across this heart situation or just get away from, you know, past woundings, past life woundings, regret hurt, sadness, and pain, right? Bringing that balance. And this is a card of four. You have to be real careful in this situation, Leo, because you have brown out, and then you have one of the most injuring and damaging numbers on the board of four. Fours and twos needing to bring a balance. And they're telling, telling you you need to bring forth that balance in your mind. See that? High priestess of air representing the six. Six is balance, right? Bringing a balance, whether you accept or reject, bringing a balance to your mental. Together, these make the one, the one you, the one thought, the one journey. Yeah. And then the one you, you need to let go. The one thought, balancing your logic. See that? The one journey that you're on, you either can accept or reject this new um opportunity to bring that balance, Right? Together, these cards make the one, the one you, the one thought, the one journey. So let's see what need, what, what's going on. We can look at what you need to get in your mental, what's the balance, or what you need to let go of. Spirit says, let's look, look at what you need to let go of. So past woundings, woundings that have been buried for a long time, whether it be a physical wounding, a spiritual wounding, uh, emotional wounding out there here needing help spirit clarify letting go for leo out you have look mental wounding eight of swords mentally stuck right towards the sixth staff right mentally stuck towards victory or is saying no longer can move mental entrapment can't see victory I need to get out, but I can't see it. Stuck. Head is bowed. Hands is tied behind your back without a tie. And you're sitting on your foot. No movement. 
I can't let go. Why can't you let go? I can't see victory. I don't know what to do. What is the six of staff? Standing strong, standing tall upon a new journey. See that ace of staff in your hand over the one, two, three, four, five of staff conflict of action. See that conflict of action. Matter of fact, spirit, what surrounds the eight of sword for Leo? What is this mental blocks? Over your eight of swords, see that? And the six of staff, it says the same thing, can't see success. What surrounds the eight of swords? Why is your head bowed? Success. See that? The creation of success. This is a card of three. I don't know how to create success. I don't know how to create a way out. See that? I don't know how to get out of it, Leah. Going up, let's go underneath the deck and see what's going on. You have the sun coming in here, illuminating the same five of staff that was in the six of staff. Conflict of action towards a new plan. Eight of cups. I don't know what to do. I don't have a new plan. Strength is here towards a home situation. Mm -hmm. And this devil showed up to your party. Helping you, helping cause the stop block. Because now look at you. I'm feeling so bad. I'm feeling so sad about ending. Look, death, heartbreak. Look, and moving forward towards a lover situation. Some of you mm -hmm, being uh, mentally solid. Look, addressing a family situation. Look. But you got saved. Your savior is here because temperance showed up. Anytime the devil comes up in here, you definitely want temperance to come in here. I'm sorry. I'm just going to let you know. So the illumination of a conflict of action. Why can you not create success? Because they're illuminating a problem. The divine saying, hey, illumination of a problem. And then the thing is, it's a problem. The son, the child, and the bull is going away from the problem. Any nothing can grow or be abundant when there's confusion and conflict around negativity, right? So, what is the conflict pertaining to? Feelings of a new plan. Some of you need to connect to your spiritual to get this new plan. See that? Right? And find your strength. See that? And find your strength, right? That's the first, that's the first step. Building up um to be strong enough to say, hey, divine, hey, divine spirit, I need a plan. I need to get out of this situation. So now they're telling us that the home situation, right, needing to have strength towards a home situation. See that? Needing to have strength towards a home situation where the devil resides. See that? Where the devil resides, the devil came to the party. And what is this devil doing? What is this stop block doing? It's causing regret. See that? Feeling sorry for yourself. Five of cups. Right. And now you can say not seeing love, not seeing a lover situation. Right. Not being in a commitment, feeling bad. But either way it go, you still not moving. You're kneeling upon the ground. The way is being clear. Obstacles being removed. But you laid your staff down. No action. No movement. You are allowing the devil in your ear to say, yeah, you really shouldn't leave them because you know where your heart resides. And you're like, yeah. I guess you're right. Never mind the love relationship. Never mind the friendship. Never mind my abundance. Never mind my success. See that? I'm just going to keep my head down. When they talk about letting go, what you need to release is that devil factor in your ear. So now they're saying you are listening to the devil so much that you don't even see the end of a heartbreak uh, being offered. Or an option or opportunity to end that heartbreak. Feeling all bad. You're not paying attention. When you end this heartbreak, what happens? You gain the momentum again to start moving. And they'll tell you, move forward. See that? Move forward. Six of swords. Get out of your head. Mental block, right? Towards the love of situation. When you talk about the lovers, the lovers isn't always like a boyfriend, girlfriend, side chick, side piece. 
it talks about bonding factors or connecting factors of two, right? Spiritual balance, heart of six, right? And then they say you must get this in your mental. Get it in your mental. It could be about your family, right? Balancing out the family, being strong on how you handle a family situation. But either way it go, whether you're dealing with people or money or enemy or friend, the divines are here leading you and guiding you, right? And let's read a little more. What What is, right, temperance or the divines leading you towards? Keep pulling from the bottom of the deck. Look, look, a recovery. Hanging up that heartbreak to face truth. Get out of your mental. Get out of your mental. Because as long as you stay in your mental or your emotions, you'll never be able to create success. The devil is always going to stay in your mental. That's why they keep saying, balance out your mental. Right? Let the divines in so they can lead you towards recovery hello see that so you do what you gotta do leo get that mental together balance it all out balance it out so let's look at your second healing right or breakthrough spirit what surrounds sexual arts a message Ooh, ooh, a message is coming in uh, Let's see what surrounds this message. Spirit, what surrounds the message for Leo about these sexual arts and bringing a balance? Mm, stand focused, baby. You either going to focus on the message or you need to get your mind and your eyes focused on this message that's coming in. Yes, because don't forget, victory is here. Uh, yeah. So let's go. Sexual arts. Boom. This is a uh, card of balance because this is a card of six. Six represents balance or the balancing, right? And we have a feminine and masculine uh, energy. Now, what I want to tell you is for you all that are out there that are uh, keeping yourself to yourself and not giving yourself out to anybody up around here sleeping with anyone. You have so much energy built up in your body, like literally, that's power. Sexual arts. Um, um, you release, right? Or you climax when you do like light work, whether it's for yourself or someone else. Maybe you need to, uh, you know, pull a love in or attract love or money or success. Yeah, some of you need to heal success. This is the perfect time to do just that, right? Balance. But in this card, you have two. What are the tools? A feminine and a masculine. But the thing about it is you have the masculine in, in the physical form and the feminine in a spiritual form, right? Some of you need to, it's time to connect to your uh, spiritual side, yeah? Your higher selves, right? Coming in uh, strong and wounded. Because physically you're masculine, right? But in that wounding, a feminine. Your spiritual is wounded. Learning how to uh, create and manifest, right? Towards your balance on whatever you, you know, perceive to be desires or your victory, right? Victory. And these two cards together is a seven. What is the seven? Seven is a number of self-reflection. What must you do? Use your sexual arts or balance out sexual arts to bring forth your victory. Uh, creative ideas may start to flow, right? Um, belt of, like a wealth, abundance, and success is, you know, like major at this time. And you need it because they're telling us that some type of hostilities is here, right? And for some of you who may have gotten out of a relationship or left for marriage or whatever, Someone is coming in trying to uh, kill your shine or steal your success or beat it down. See that hostility towards your victory because of who you're with. Maybe you're not with no one. Maybe you say, you know what? It's time for me to heal and I'm just going to build up. Leah said, build up. I'm just going to build and protect up so I can manifest my victory, right? But here comes the little ex. Oh, no, that's no victory for you. And they're swinging this uh, sword right over here to victory. You could be dealing with an air sign, could be, mm -hmm. 
But the thing about it is, together, these two cards make the nine. What are the nines? The nines talk about the divines calling for your attention to a person or a situation. If you do not uh, vibrate high, to, high enough or you're not, uh, your frequency isn't up there, whoever this person is that's coming in here trying to fight you, whether it be like a child support case, a uh, settling a court case, a home situation. I hear uh, spirits saying someone trying to take your home from you, trying to take your children from you. Literally, they're coming in here to stop your shine and they will be successful if you don't protect yourself. Incoming message. See that? And this is a card of nine. Spirit and the divines are saying, pay attention to contract situations, right? And make sure you stay focused, right? Stay focused. Keep that action, passion, and drive, fire mm -hmm, towards these contracts, right? Something is going on. And then the thing about it is a lot of you could have things done behind your back. Because look at messages. It's a night card. Mm -hmm. This focus is a light card. Light and dark, yin and yang, baby. Balancing it all out. Don't allow somebody to come in here and stop your shine. It is a time to build up. All of those who need to talk to me for uh, energy building, email me. Because someone is coming in here swinging their sword. And then the thing about it is whoever this is, they focus. Look, they have put their helmet to the side so they can have a clear... uh eye view of your victory so they can swing the sword and chop it down. Woo! Spirit, let's look at hostilities. Who are these people? Going against the sun, going against Leo's, going against the victory, going against success, going against growth. These All of these things are victory. Be careful. Spirit, clarify hostilities for Leo. Woo! Wow. Towel. Major changes. Sudden changes. I told you be careful. Towards receiving an offer. Giving an offer. Page of coins. Receiving an offer. Hostilities. Be careful towards something solid. Solid foundation. Solid family. Solid home. Cause. Anything of value. Coin. You're receiving sudden changes. Someone is coming in here to create changes. Right? Temperance. I'm not done. See that? Divines towards recovery, right? Of emotions. See that? Emotions, solid emotions, right? Towards attachments. Look. Three of cups. Attachments. Wishing. Look. Oh, I wish. I'm praying. I'm wishing for a new journey, new way, new day of happiness. See that? Happiness. Nine of cups. And you got a lot of cups here. Someone is in their emotions. Be careful whoever is in their feelings. So someone here, right? The divines is coming in for that recovery factor. What recovery factor? Hostilities. That's, comes on all, that's causing all these changes, right? It's causing all these changes to something that is valuable to Leo, right? So they're saying you must have solid feelings to go towards recovery. Hang up the heartbreak. Three of swords. Face the truth. See that? Face the truth. And it talks about attachments. But let me tell you about these attachments. See that? Three of cups. If you take the staff in the cup from the king of cups and add it with the three of cups, you get the four of cups. What is the four of cups? Someone on a new journey in love, right? Whether it be for self or towards someone else, but they're worried about the attachments. The attachments not going away. I don't know what's going to happen to uh, my uh, ex-girlfriend. I don't know what's going to happen to my uh, ex-husband. I don't know what it's going to... And see, the whole time, you worrying about those attachments because three of cups represent attachments. No movement. No movement. They're telling you you need to come in, right? Divine, right? Make a wish. Have a wish towards fulfillment. What is this fulfillment? You must wish for your own happiness. See that? Your own happiness. Don't worry about these attachments because this is what surrounds the star. All of these cups. 
all of these cups surrounds the star. And the nine of cups with the three of cups makes the two of cups, not the 12 of cups. Because once you get to the ten of cups, what's left? Two of cups. This could also be talking about a relationship, situationship, friendship, partnership. Pay attention. What are you focusing on? They're telling you, you better focus on this, what's going on in the dark, or focus on what you cannot see. Whether someone voiced it to you or not, hostilities is here trying to knock down your victory. Maybe someone was caught cheating. Maybe someone caught another lover or another other. And they say, you know what? I'm going to fix Leo. Oh, you over here thinking you're going to be with them and be with her and be with him? I got something for you. Shh. See that? Be careful. Pay attention. Go with how you feel. And then the thing about it is, it's emotions, right? Causing changes towards a mental. Because, let me show you, let me show you. They told you clarifying hostilities was was changes being accepted, right? Given, accepted, right? Coming in strong. When I say emotions, changes, mental, this is what I mean. Out of your reading you just had, you have three cup cards, right? Three cup cards. Emotions, right? Two Two mental, you, you have a step down process. Three cups, two mental changes, one sword, one mental. See that? Someone is going very solid with these emotions. Allow your emotions to go with what you feel because your emotions is spirit. That is your gut. It is in your root. If you feel like someone is coming in here and swinging that sword, whether it be them playing mind games with you, someone cutting money, cutting bank accounts. Oh, uh, I caught you with somebody else. I'm taking you to child support court. I'm taking you to get a divorce. Da, 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 da. I don't want to be with you. I'm going to tell your family. All of this stuff is here. They keep saying, bring a balance. Who must bring a balance? Leo must bring a balance. Leo must bring a balance. And here comes spirit. We're telling you and warning you hostilities is here. And if his hostilities isn't here, it's coming. Going on behind the scenes and in the darkness. You must stay amped up, amplified up, built up, protected up, and stay focused. See that? Do what you got to do. Listen. I'm Leah with Enlighten to Mystic Essentials. Um, anybody who needs to talk to me, email me. I talk back. You know, um, if you need to look into your situation, whether you're just going through a breakthrough, someone is not communicating with you, you need to see what's going on. Because the last thing you need, they telling you sudden changes, tower moment, is someone attacking your shine. This could be someone coming in attacking your love life, your home, your children, your family, your job, hostilities. It's anything and everything. But it, the thing about it is, it is a person and whoever this person is they're coming in here fired up and very angry full of rage because they're coming in as a masculine energy of negativity and they saying yeah i got a clear eye view and then and then by them being in the woods this could be somebody who's spying on you and waiting for a access point or entry point to come in here and destroy your life be careful listen i'm leah right work it out Figure it out. And until I see you guys next time, take care.